workshop is just the ingenuity of the students. When Juan and I first learned about Jean-Paul Riopelle's 100th anniversary, we got so excited. We just were dazzled by this French-Canadian artist who was such a rebel. He was so forward-thinking. He was so experimental that the two of us were like, we have to do something with AI. It was just the right amount of looking forward into the future, dash of controversy, but also really accessible. We really prioritize youth and young people being able to participate easily in this project and AI really accomplishes that. All you have to do is string together some words, pop it into Midjourney and you can really see what you're thinking in your head. So Midjourney is one of this uh, software that has been developed in order to uh, generate images using artificial intelligence and they have trained this machine learning algorithm to understand the language that people are putting in as their prompts and then from that it starts creating something that kind of represents that based on all the sources of images that they have. We can tell it to paint something in the style of a particular painter. And when we heard about Riopel, one of the things that he did was painting without thinking, letting your body do all the painting. And you know, the connection was, well, that's kind of how AI paints. It really paints without thinking. It's just trying to guesstimate what you know, your prompt might look like. But we are putting the humans ahead of the AI. The collaboration, working together to develop something uh, in groups is what we wanted to focus on. So during our workshops, we actually show an image to our students and we say, let's try to break this image down visually and then write it down so the AI can replicate it. So we go through a series of steps where we say, okay, what, what kind of medium is this? Is it oil painting? Is it an illustration? What color is the background? And they actually start getting the image being replicated by AI. I'm trying to figure it out. The youth group wanted to do something with race cars, which was perfect because Jean-Paul Riopel loved fast cars. So we developed a prompt that has Hot Wheels. In the style of Jean-Paul Riopel, it definitely gave us something very abstract, very textured. So the students of France and Kelsey, you know, a lot of them were they were very socially conscious. So we wanted to incorporate that. And they actually came out with this beautiful prompt of the half the earth on fire and half not on fire. Uh, which, you know, nowadays is a very uh, something that we suffer here in Victoria and BC all the time.